Hi, welcome to Jupyter Tutor, my name is Charles. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Jupyter Commons. If you want to follow along with the same hosting I'm going to use for this video, just scroll down to the bottom of this video. I'll put a link here, you can see here, it says for Jupyter, web host I recommend. Just click on that. For hosting, I use DistroOcean because it's very easy to set up and it's very affordable too. Once you're on the website, you just need to click on the sign up button, which is here. This will take you to create your DistroOcean account. All you need to do is just put your email address here and password and just click on the sign in button. So once you've signed in, you need to click on this create button and you'll be presented with make a new dropper. Okay, so first we want to give our dropper a name. So we're just going to call it Commons. And for Jupyter Commons, we need the 2GB plan. And I'm in Europe, so I just select Amsterdam. Uh, if you're in America, you would either choose New York or San Francisco, whatever's closest to you. Ubuntu is uh, on default, so that's fine. If you want your website to always be backed up, just enable the backup option. Click on Create Droplet. So once your droplet's been set up, you'll get an IP address, a username, and a password. Just copy these. Also, Bookmark this email, it's always useful, and just copy the information into the notepad or wherever you want to keep it safe. To get access to our droplet, we need to store our SFTP. For Mac users, you need to download iTerminal. I put a link underneath this video. You just need to click on this link, it will take you to this web page. For Windows users, we're going to be installing Putty. If you scroll down underneath this video, I put SFT for Windows, just see, click this link, it will take you to Putty. Once you're on this page, you need to just choose one of these ones to download and just go click on the Putty extension to download it. So the next thing you need to do is open up your command line tool and just go double click on Putty. I click and run. So now the next thing I'm going to do is just put the droplet IP address into here and just call this cons and I'll go open it up. And we want to click on yes. And for our username, we just go copy the root here, paste it in. And for a password, we just go copy this, paste it in here, press return. Well done, and now we've logged into our droplet. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up the server. So thank you for watching my video. If that helpful, please uh, like this video here. Or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel here, or just leave me a question if you need to know anything. And if you want to download the Jupyter hosting I use, just click on the link here. Many thanks for watching again, and take care. Bye.